Thanks for staying with us. So moving on to our next topic, which topic we're we going to introduce to us. Go <laughs> ahead, please. So um, I've gotten several reports from different people concerning loan apps and the challenges that happen when you default from loan apps. Um, I've taken the story in the papers. These loan apps are not your conventional um, money deposit banks. They are not your conventional registered businesses. They are just like a mushroom, um, everything online. They offer you money in exchange for access to your data, your phone, your, your BVN, your, 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 all your basic details. And if for any reason anybody defaults on the payments, and their they are interest rates are outrageous, 20% for some cases, in a way that if you default your payment of loan in three to six months, maximum of a year, you are probably going to be paying double of what you borrowed. They don't borrow a lot of money, maybe like 100,000, 50,000 naira, and then they start sending these malicious text messages to every of your contacts. Usually they would have a picture of you, mm -hmm. and then they would write some very threatening words, almost like, um, do not associate yourself with this person. This person, ha it's a chronic uh, debtor Debtor's that mm -hmm. never pays, and were, you know, talking to the police concerning that person. And they'll send it to all your contacts. And people are also asking, is it legal that you should take this person's information? Or even if I'm the contact that you reach out to, why are you reaching out to me? I did not sign any paper with you to say I'm a guarantor or, you know, and then you are still you are sending this information to me. So is it legal? Should we allow um, apps like this to carry on Let me read a few of the text messages I get from several people. Um, so the person is Steve something something. Say good afternoon. The, uh, Mr. Steve something something of this social number is a chronic debtor who has been acting dubious and fraudulent towards ah. paying his overdue loan to a fintech company. Please help notify him to repay today to avoid taking legal action. Thanks. You can ignore this message if you had nothing to do with this person. If you have nothing to do with this person. <laughs> if for adventure you get this message, kindly note that your detail was dropped from this said person when applying for this loan as an emergency contact. That's a lie. What they do is because you've, you, when, you, when you download the app, you click accept. So you, you can't use it without allowing them access to your date, your phone, yeah, data phone card. numbers. Honorable Aki Alabi moved a motion um, sometimes stating that co these companies were invading personal data and it was going against the Nigerian Data Protection Regulation yeah, mm -hmm. and other laws that we have. And, but from what Akwa is saying, because you, you click that you approve of them accessing that data, you cannot then, I don't think you can come under this protection that the law, Nigerian Data mm. Protection uh, Regulation provides when you we are taking the, the money. Wow. What I understand from them is that, you know, they are the typical um, traditional Oloweli, the As tri the money lender. Money you know, all these money lenders will tell you, don't worry, come and take 10 naira. When you take the 10 naira, they will not discuss with you in clear terms, even though they say it. They will not discuss with you in clear terms how the money will be collected if you fail, what will happen upon default, how many months, uh, you know, uh, uh, where moratorium you have before you start to pay, how many months do you have to, you know, to gather yourself if you default, what happens, or, they don't discuss those details with you. You too, most Nigerians that I have seen, are desperately going to borrow that money. In fact, there's a person that I know who borrows this money to bet. Ah. Mm. He will borrow the money to bet. Family members will gather around, clear the debt for him when it becomes embarrassing, he will go back and do the same thing. So it is a choice that you make. I, I am so grateful that you brought it up. In fact, I have somebody very close to me that took a, a, a Isaiah mm. in order to kill herself for this case. Mm -hmm. She went to borrow money the hospital, no, on, uh, yes. on this half and they kept uh, um, uh, publicizing her name that she's a debtor and uh, she, she's this, she's that. And because of this, she did not even tell her mom. She could not tell people that people. this is what she did. And she went to take Isaiah in order to kill herself because ah, of this uh, case. Many. She was owing some people, and so she had to borrow money from these people so that she can pay uh, the other people that she was owing. And right, even right now, luckily for her, she was able to see somebody who helped her and took her to the hospital on time. Oh, so that she, she, it happened this December, I mean this last Christmas. Before Christmas, she wanted to kill herself for the same act. Please, kindly help us. 
help us to tell the government to cancel such people. This is a very disturbing and uh, uh, difficult uh, situation. You know, first of all, we have always clamored that it is easier to get loan in developed societies. And uh, you didn't know that it is a trap that a lot of them have entered into. Now our young people are falling into that trap of debt because of the how easy it is to assess this, uh, this, this, this debt. What I want to tell such people is never to consider suicide or taking your life as a way out of the debt you owe. Because the debt remain unpaid and there is no debt that is not reckoned with both in this life and in the life thereafter. So there is no escape from it. The only way is to work diligently and renegotiate your debt, face those you owe with courage, not being ashamed or afraid of them, and discussing your situation. Even though the activities of these uh, app companies are a bit uh, illegal, a lot of them are illegal, and uh, some of their acts and activities are being currently being looked at by the government. But my advice to those who are in trouble is that death has never been a solution out of any situation. For your life is not in your hands. And taking it is more of a grievous offense and a sin than the debt that you owe. Mm. But facing your debt squarely makes you a better person in life. Because right. for every challenge that you overcome, you become stronger and right. you become better. Fantastic.